Fiber is the stealth nutrient. Fiber is your friend. Fiber is probably the most important nutrient you don't absorb. Okay? For years, fiber wasn't even a nutrient because you didn't absorb it. The FDA finally made a change and said, yes, we do need fiber in our diet. And they set a minimum amount of 25 grams per day. The median for America right now is 12 grams per day. We all probably should be getting about 50 grams per day. All right, that gives you some idea about where we are. We're getting about one quarter of what we need and about one half of what is at least rational. Now, why is fiber so important? Fiber does six things that all improve metabolic health. The first thing it does, it gives some bulk, it gives a mechanical stretching to the stomach, which gives you a feeling of fullness, reducing total food intake. Number two, the insoluble fiber, the cellulose, forms a lattice work like a fishnet on the inside of your intestine. The soluble fiber, the pectins, the inulin, like what holds jelly together, are globular. They plug the holes in the fishnet, and together they form a gel, a whitish gel, and you can see it on electron microscopy, coating the inside of your small intestine and generating a secondary barrier. And that secondary barrier prevents the transport of glucose and fructose and sucrose and starches from the intestine into the bloodstream thus keeping your blood glucose down, which you measure in your CGM. Well, that keeps your insulin down. And so that's good for your metabolic health because it's all about getting that insulin down. Third thing, the food doesn't get absorbed early, so it moves through the intestine where the microbiome lives and it will chew it up for its own purposes. So you are feeding the gut. And when you feed the gut, then your intestine bacteria don't have to chew on the uh, mucin layer that's protecting it. Number four, it greases the skids and moves the food through the intestine faster. This is why fiber laxatives exist, is to prevent constipation because it carries water with it and moves the food through the intestine faster. Well, that generates the satiety signal at the end of the intestine sooner, so you won't eat that second portion. Number five, the soluble fiber in what you eat serves as food for the colonic bacteria, which will turn that into short chain fatty acids, acetate, propionate, butyrate, which are anti-inflammatory, help prevent irritable bowel syndrome, and prevent Alzheimer's disease. And finally, the insoluble fiber acts like little scrubbies on the inside of the colon basically sloughing off can colon cancer cells so that you don't get colon cancer. So the amount of fiber you consume is inversely correlated with your risk for colon cancer. So every single thing fiber does improves your metabolic health. And the way it shows up is in the reduction in the glucose response on CGM. In fact, a high fiber diet will give you the glucose response of a ketogenic diet. And a ketogenic diet is the one that suppresses insulin the most.